So we've been downgraded to a tropical storm, yep. but folks should not take that as basically a good sign. No, and that's what was getting people into trouble initially was, oh, it's a category two, it's a category one, I'm, I'm safe. But the reality of it is there's so much wind that was piling up waves over water that you had the storm surge and now a prolific amount of rainfall. That's just gonna continue for the next day or two down there. Right. So worst case scenario for those folks. Uh, going forward here and we get the rain too not 20 inches of rain but we get some rain going forward and I'll show you what that looks like in a moment here not to worry but right now this is a beautiful afternoon looking from Jericho beautiful blue skies temperatures are in the lower 70s and the dew points a little bit humid but nothing too bad We're in the middle and upper 70s for much of eastern Vermont this afternoon 77 in St. Jay 82 in Burlington 83 in Messina and the forecast for tonight has temperatures going into the middle 60s by tomorrow morning a few more clouds bubble up and then we deal with some valley fog by tomorrow morning before things slowly improve as the afternoon the evening progresses. Storm Tracker scanning the region dry and this is the latest on Tropical Storm Florence still spinning uh, right across the North Carolina South Carolina border winds to 70 miles per hour. Again we're just talking about uh, it doesn't matter what it is at this point. There's a ton of rain and a ton of storm surge for these folks down there that's battering them relentlessly. The forecast track from the National Hurricane Center has Florence going west and then it sharply veers towards the north as she links up with the cold front. And their expectation is for this to actually pass just to the south of Vermont sometime between early Tuesday morning and Tuesday afternoon. And that'll be the focal point for a few showers and tropical downpours. Tonight, no such concern. Temperatures are in the 50s and lower 60s. There's a dense fog advisory for the upper valley for uh, areas of locally dense fog uh, by tomorrow morning. So future cast tonight finds things clear. There are the fog, little patches of fog by tomorrow morning across the upper valley, but plenty of sunshine and that continues tomorrow afternoon. There may be a stray sprinkle across the Adirondacks, but that's it. I mean, many spots are mainly sunny both tomorrow and again on Sunday. Notice that by Sunday afternoon, afternoon plenty of sunshine to enjoy so I think we're in good shape going forward here highs tomorrow the upper 70s and lower 80s 81 in Plattsburgh 78 in Lake Placid we'll call for 84 in Burlington tomorrow 82 in South Hero 82 in Northfield and one more stop across central and southern Vermont finds temperatures in the upper 70s and lower 80s 81 in Springfield and 80 in Arlington beach and boating forecast looks good the waves are light the wind is light and the nice weather continues into Monday for that matter as well highs are in the middle 80s Sunday and Monday plenty of sunshine on Monday Tuesday the remnants for Florence the best chance to see steady tropical rainfalls across central and southern Vermont but a fluctuation in track can move that further north into the Champlain Valley we'll be watching that closely over this weekend and then things turn more seasonable for the latter half of next week sun and clouds Wednesday and Thursday highs in the middle 70s a bit more humid on Friday some showers and a stray storm are expected before we really cool things off and Look at that, the first hints of the upper 30s for nighttime lows coming into Sunday morning. So things are turning much colder going forward in the five-day forecast, plus five.